I'm Kenny from Owlbot, here today for Stray Angel unboxing this, the new 6K Pocket Cinema Camera from Blackmagic. Now normally I'm not an unboxing guy, but with this being such an exciting new release, uh, in so few hands we figured it would be worth showing uh, what comes in said box before we take it out uh, tomorrow to shoot with artist Chase Locke. So we'll have that sweet, sweet real world footage for you by the end of the week. Uh, but for now, we've got this, a dum-dum, and a poker table. So, let's get into it. Uh, I've never seen the 4K box, so I don't actually know uh, how this compares, but I didn't even take off the plastic, because I know how much nerds care about that. But it's not mine. It belongs to Strange, so I can't fuck it up. Okay, here we go. So, uh, comes with a nice little... Thank you for selecting black magic thing. I uh, won't ever use that. Uh, a copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is nice. Uh, this, I think we're, we said we're gonna give away, maybe? I don't know, maybe someone at Stray will get it, but it is uh, something to note that you get essentially a $400 discount uh, the second you buy one of these, simply because um, it comes with Resolve. Uh, the studio version, which is nice. I personally, I had to buy it. Uh, we've got a neck strap here. This looks like um, a nice sort of nylon, put this over here, nylon, not leather, but like a pleather type situation um, with the black magic uh, squares on it and some logos and stuff. That might come in handy when you're shooting handheld. Um, in it, we've also got uh, universal plugs. So we've got um, the UK, the US here that fell out. Um, the other ones, I don't, I don't actually, I can't, <laughs> I can't recognize plugs just by seeing them, but they're in there uh, for the charger here. So you just slide that in, and now you've got uh, DC power for, or I guess AC power, for your camera, so I will be needing that probably later. Uh, it also comes with one LP6 battery. I don't know if this is charged, but I've got an extra ready to go so we can at least power it on. Um, so it does come with one. We will see when we're shooting with Chase tomorrow how long one of those batteries actually lasts because on the 4K I heard it wasn't amazing. Um, so I'm wondering if the 6K will be better or worse. So there's the camera right there in the box and that is literally everything in the box um so that's that uh check it out we got the peel here i'll do the peel for you wow uh so that's pretty much it i can't i don't have an ef lens let's see if we can't just turn it on and see what's going on under the hood maybe a little bit on the bottom here you see you've got a uh, standard kind of tripod plate and what looks like an exhaust port which is fine that that's on the bottom plus the battery uh, the front as you may have heard is EF mount so this is a uh, native EF mount so those of you who are and super 35 um, so those of you who are coming from the micro four thirds world might be a little perturbed at black magic for doing that however I would say a large majority of you probably were using the speed booster um, to put EF lenses on there anyway, so that uh, I feel like for most people is fine. Uh, you've got your two uh, little hookups for your shoulder rig there, um, a little top screw. There's not a hot shoe up here. Here we just have a regular old um, quarter inch 20 screw, so that will apparently work with the, actually I'll just go grab it. This should work with uh, the regular old pocket 4K accessories. So let's discover that together, shall we? So there's part one, that looks to be good. Oh, oh yep, all right. It does look like your 4K, pocket 4K accessories will fit on the 6K. Um, at least this one from um, Wooden Camera, and I guess Manfrotto does. So that's good to know, yeah? Anyone who already has a 4K 
or pre-ordered one, you should be good to go. Uh, I do know that if you pre-ordered one and haven't received it yet, you should be able to send it back to Blackmagic um, and get uh, the 6K instead if you want to pay the extra fee. So that's sturdy on there. I will probably put a, uh, another handle about here just for stability, but that's all feeling good. Let's turn it on. Okay, turns on pretty quick. Um, let's put some media in there for fun's sake. Actually, you know what I can do is I can go grab the uh, lens. So this is a CF card um, for RAW. The border or the uh, start off settings just when you turn it on are um, 180 degree shutter, uh, 24 frames per second, ISO 400, 5600 white balance. So that's pretty much standard. I, I would assume that 400 is the base ISO for this camera. Um, it says here that a 256 card is giving us 43 minutes. Let's just go over the buttons. You got three function buttons as normal. Uh, an ISO button here, which apparently just lets us, it is a touch screen, so you can just choose, can I go 800? Okay, so using this you can um, select sort of incrementally by standard numbers. Uh, and then I, I assume these are presets that we can probably set in the menu. Um, so we'll leave it on 400 for now. Now this isn't a electronic EF lens, this is actually a Nikon lens that is being, uh, that has a little adapter on it. So this will be a dummy connection, but that's fine. Um, I don't even think I have this on here right, but there we go, and this looks great. So uh, for whatever reason, this this selection seems to be peaking. I feel like it may, it might be person-based, I don't know. Uh, this one is your grid lines, 240, 239, 235, 21, 185, and 169. Oh, and then you can go into your verticals. So that's nice if you need that. You've got your thirds, your crosshairs, your center dot, and you can turn them on interchangeably. Uh, I, I tend to not use those anymore. Um, you've also got uh, sort of a safety zone, look around zone. Um, I'll probably use that for down resing in 4K, uh, going from six to four uh, with room for stabilization and reframing. Oh, it's got false color. That's good. It. I have to pay a lot of money for false color uh, for my Odyssey 7Q Plus. The fact that that has false color built in is pretty dope. It doesn't tell you what the uh, <laughs> the numbers refer to, I don't believe. No, it doesn't. But uh, you do have, you can see a little bit of coloring there. Okay, there's my hand. I, I assume pink means properly exposed. So I'm gonna assume pink is good, but I'll figure that out for you guys later. Running time code or uh, Recording time code, again, your ISO, white balance, and tint, which is nice uh, that it's right there, and the battery you can display in volts or percentage there. High frame rate button. Ooh, let's change that. How high? 40. 50? 50 is as high as I can go? Is that because I'm at 4K? How do I get off... Right now my settings are Blackmagic RAW, 6K, uh, full frame, with 8 to 1 compression. Um, and it looks in here we've got monitoring options, HDMI, clean feed, LUT, Zebra, focus assist, all that good stuff. Uh, HDMI, same thing, and then both. Cool. Uh, audio. This does have a uh, XLR Mini input, so... Um, I don't have that right now, but there you go. It also has an in-camera um, stereo mic, it appears, that you can control uh, gains on. Uh, setup, what is this? Date and time, English, shutter angle, uh, 60 hertz. Uh, setting the function buttons here. So function one, I'll leave it on far, false color. Function two, okay, yeah. So there you go, you can set the function buttons. 
Um, setting, you know, just depending on what you tend to do, those will be definitely helpful. Uh, they're changing your uh, FPS or uh, iris, white balance, shutter, that kind of thing. These are in-camera LUT. I bet you can add LUTs to this, but right now we've got Pocket 6K Film to Extended, Hybrid Log at Rec 2020, Rec 2020 PQ, I don't actually know what that means, and then uh, 6K Film to Video, which I'm assuming is 709. And then Play. Does in fact play. Oh, and it will keep the false color, so there you go. You can, even when you're displaying it, uh, you can... There you go. Just off in the dark there. This footage looks uh, great for how dark it is on that side of the room. Because this is ISO 400, and that looks great. And there's no lights over there. That's astounding. Uh, I guess we didn't get to this, but on this side, you've got the same thing as the, on the 4K. Uh, mini XLR in, um, USB-C, the 12 volt in, which you would either use on your cable here. Uh, into the wall, or you can get a like a P-tap to um, uh, 12 volt. So uh, I do have one of those from Stray. Uh, full size HDMI, and then audio monitoring and microphone. So that is pretty much it for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Like I said, we will be filming tomorrow. Um, so that will be when you can see the footage from it once I'm done editing that and putting it together and a full review should be up by the end of the week so this is a little more uh, time sensitive than we're used to doing uh, here at Stray or Pro uh, Pro Video or even Owlbot but um, when you see this after this week just know there is footage for you to see uh, in a review that will be linked in the video uh, in terms of weight feels really sturdy uh, actually, just with this rig right here, I could see you holding it like that and uh, getting some good, not, not necessarily being too shaky. I am going to put a, uh, a, ra a rail system on the back with a battery. Try to, this, this monitoring position really isn't amazing, as we've discussed online thoroughly. Um, but, you know, you attach a, a secondary monitor and we'll see how that goes. I also have a G Drive uh, USB-C hard drive SSD that I am going to try to record to with this thing and see if that works because I know everyone uses the T5s but I want to see if you know like any drive will work um, so yeah just first impressions looks solid just looking at this footage looks uh, really impressive for a dark living room um, kits a little bare but most people are gonna build these things out by themselves anyway and I really do appreciate that Blackmagic has gone with the EF mount in Super 35 because that is kind of the gold standard for filmmaking. Micro Four Thirds is great uh, but I think if we're, anyone's going to go mirrorless it's more so about um, you know your Super 35 or higher uh, more so than Micro Four Thirds. So uh, I'm really excited to take this out tomorrow and uh, we will talk to you more then. Thank you for watching and I hope this was uh, enlightening. Uh -huh.